Hi everyone, I'm Ryan and I'm here to give you a tutorial on how to set up an ACCS RTM simulation. I'll be using an external model for this video and this external model can be found in tutorial 7 of the ACCS extension. The first step to creating an RTM simulation in ACCS is to define your engineering data. So let's drag and drop the engineering data module which can be found in the component se system section of the toolbox. And when we come into here, we'll see structural steel. I want to delete this as we won't be using this material card for the simulation. And we want to head into engineering data sources. If we scroll down, we should see cure simulation. Let's click on this and we'll see that there are materials already defined for us here. So in this case, we'll be using the RTM fabric material card and the RTM resin with constant viscosity material card. Now, if we head back into the main page of engineering data, we'll be able to see the RTM fabric and the RTM resin here. In the RTM fabric, the only unique material property to ACCS is permeability. And in RTM resin with constant viscosity, the only unique property is the constant viscosity. If you want more details on these properties, you can refer to the ACCS documentation manual. Now heading back to the main project screen, we can drag and drop the RTM module here. Let's connect our engineering data as well as our external model. press update. Now that our model is updated, we can double click on model to enter the mechanical screen. Now that mechanical is opened, the first step is to define your fabric for your geometry. So in this case, the fabric I will assign is RTM fabric. And then also to define a resin for the simulation as well. So I'll be using the RTM resin with constant viscosity. After this, you'll want to define an inlet and an outlet. In this case, I'll be using a pressure inlet. For the pressure inlet, let's define it as one of the faces on the end and give it a pressure of a thousand megapascals. And we'll define the outlet as the opposite face. After these both are defined, we can now right click the ACCS RTM module and press solve. Now that it is solved, we can add some results to view. So let's take a look at fill and infusion time and then evaluate these results. Now that the results have loaded, we can see that at the end time, the fill of the model is full. And we can also see the infusion time of each node in the model as well in the infusion time results. If you want to look at animation of the fill progression, we can press play at the animation at the bottom here. Now that's everything for the tutorial for today. In future videos, we'll be covering how to import thermal simulations as well as use ACP defined models for the RTM solver as well. 